What's up guys, Poke here, and today I will show you guys the old new update for this holiday that Tesla just released. This is by far the coolest update that they've released. It's something I was waiting for it since the day I got into the Tesla vehicles and it's finally here. The car I'm gonna show you it on is the 2022 Tesla Model X Long Range. The software version is the 2022.44.25 and this is something I've been waiting on for a very long time. Tesla vehicles did have the Spotify but they were lacking with the Apple Music support. With Apple Music being natively integrated, now you can sign into your Apple Music account directly and you can see all your library you can uh, play some of the songs if you like you can go to the radio browse listen now whatever we want all the stuff is going to be here natively you can go through your songs everything like that shuffle through them something i do want to mention is that when i'm streaming my music through my phone with the bluetooth i don't have any issues with the music just uh, stopping and loading because of reception since they're already downloaded into my phone whereas with this so far i think it's just streaming them via the internet so whenever the reception is bad it does end up just uh, stopping the streaming it just pauses the media and until it gets a better reception so that's something i've noticed but it's cool that we now have the apple music integration alongside the spot that we had in the tesla streaming service next coolest thing has to be with the arcade so if we go over here to the arcade you can see we have steam now you can sign into your steam account and play games with the tesla screen which is just really really cool at first when you're getting this already it does end up asking you to scan the qr code so you can sign into your account you can see your games somehow it is downloading the game through the lte connection i guess in the car from here we can see our library and this is the games that we currently own for example we can go over to grand theft auto 5 here and then we can hit install which is 108 gigabytes but the difference is that this car has only very small amount of internal storage so not enough space to do that i haven't played around with this just yet but we can download games and it seems like we can play with our playstation 5 controller which is really really cool the next future it's really cool because now you can view the interior of the car through the mobile app using this camera that we had uh, for a very long time and this is only working whenever no one's sitting in it so if i'm like sitting right now inside the car and i go through the app it does not let me to see what's happening in the car and it tells me that people cannot be in the car so i guess it detects that you're sitting in the car and it just doesn't let you see what's happening inside the car this seems like it's made so that whenever you have your dog mode on you can end up seeing what's your pet doing in the car but it also functions whenever you don't have dog mode on so you could be viewing your sentry mode cameras through the mobile app and at the same time you can switch and see the interior camera without having the dog mode active so that's pretty cool next one is in the toy box and we have the light show now you can schedule the light show from here you can choose which light show you want so this one here for example is two minutes and three seconds this one is one minute and 33 seconds you can set it to start at now or you can put a specific time so that it will end up starting it at the same time with your other cars we do own three teslas so i'm thinking to park this model x in between the two model y's and just see what kind of light show it can present for us so i do have that plan we're gonna put the volume a little bit down and let's just hit confirm it tells you to exit the vehicle so that it will start the show we're gonna exit close the door and this one ends up opening the falcon wing doors much quicker uh, early on in the song than the last year one but i do prefer the song from last year closing down the light show we have now the option to control the rear touchscreen through here so you can control the climate for example from here everything you want you can now control here like the screen was over there i'm having a hard time with this one. Oh, it's touching the auto button here but yeah now you can just set where you want the heat to go you can set the thermostat you could have done that before by swiping up here and then going into the rear so you could have set the climate for example but now you can change the vents and all that in the back as well and you can go here turn on the heated seats like i said before you can still do it it was just like this but it is much much nicer to uh do it from here you can see the apple music for example from there change the volume the temperature so you're controlling the screen all from here you got netflix youtube disney plus twitch and let me just show you what that looks like from here so i'm gonna go from here all the way to the fence and you see it automatically updates there's the heated seats all that stuff it all changes the thermostat very nicely 
you control it here and i believe before we could have locked the rear display and that was about it but now we have full control over the rear display just from here the next feature is the climate control so if we swipe up from here before you could have adjust the slider i believe now it's either low or medium or high for the fan speed and the difference between this is that before, as soon as you try to play around with this, I believe it turned off from auto. And now you can play around with the fan speed and it still remains in auto. So it doesn't automatically take you out of the automatic mode to play around with the fan speed. So that is pretty cool. Something nice that came alongside with this update also is that the garage door openers are missing from the Model Ys and 3s. At least with my Model X here, it did come stock with the car pre-installed the garage door home link system. But now with this update, Tesla allows you to use your smart garage door openers. In this case, the MyQ smart door opener with your car. So with a Model Y, without you buying the home link, if you have a smart garage door, it will automatically allow you to program that smart garage door, which will tell you if it's closed, if it's open, all that smart functions. I haven't tried it out yet because it gives you a 30 day trial, but you do have to pay afterwards. One year is $59, five years is $235, and 10 years is $395. It's a pretty expensive price, but we have already bought four garage door home links from Tesla's and they're about $400 and now they're $450 I believe so we have paid a lot of money just to get the home link installed on those Tesla's and now here's Tesla saying that you can have it with your MyQ app and our garage door does have that smart function so we could have done that and I would have paid but I'm wondering if you're paying for one of this service does all of our Tesla's automatically get it because we're paying for the MyQ subscription I guess so that's something I'd like to try. I'll start like a 30 day trial and then try out. Then we have this new Mahjong game inside of the arcade. It has like improved graphics. We got the, seems like it's in Mars with a spaceship. So there's that from the update, uses the touch screen. And I mean, I'm more excited for Steam, but I haven't tried it yet. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. Next one is that you can now use a Bluetooth controller to play the arcade games. So you can go over to the Bluetooth settings on your Tesla and then set up a PlayStation 5 controller, for example. They say best works with PS4 and PS5 controllers. So now we can use Bluetooth wireless controllers to play our arcade games, which is pretty cool. There was one thing that's pretty cool, but at the same time, it's not cool. And that is, let's say I'm trying to get my car out of the garage and I'm trying to move the model Y that's blocking it. What happens is, let's say my sister was on a phone call, it automatically transferred her phone call into the car while she was having a conversation with someone. So she was, let's say upstairs, the car was on the driveway, it would automatically switch to the car, which was very, very bad. And now it seems like it will ask you in the car if you you are wanting to transfer that call into the car, which is I think should have been like from the beginning. So you're having a conversation, you might just wanna keep it with you and you don't want it to be on the speakerphone. Now it's just gonna ask you if you wanna transfer that phone call to the car or you just wanna keep it on your phone or your AirPods or things like that. Even though I was wearing AirPods and it would transfer the phone call into the car every time I would get in. So it looks like they made that future much, much better. Now we pick when we want the phone call to be transferred into the car or not. Then we have the contact mode. It's pretty much allows you to search a contact person instead of going like alphabetically. I'm not sure if this was there or not, but it does show it on the release notes that there's like this uh, improvement that you can now search through the Bluetooth connected device and see uh, your contacts. Next thing has to do with the new locks feature. So with the Model X, the car has automatic doors. So every time you walk up to the car, it will end up opening the driver door for you. So you don't have to push any button on the door handle to do so. It opens the door for you. But it was very annoying when I first started to use it because the car was on my driveway and every time I would walk by it, it would just kind of open it up. So I turned it off. Now you have the option to exclude automatic door opening at home. So the car knows where your home is. So every time you go near the door, it won't open it for you when you're at home. But then if you're around here, it will end up opening the door for you. The next update feature has to do with like a very funny thing. It's like the fart thing that Tesla does. And now you can go on your app and then change it from your quick controls by holding on it. And you can put like the fart available there. So every time you open up the Tesla app, you can quickly access the fart mode there without having to go like through the security uh, cameras to see the fart function showing there. So you can have a quick control of that. So if you use that, it's pretty much there for you. And the last thing has to do with the Rainbow Road. 
So if we go over here to the toy box and then scroll all the way to here, we can have always rainbow. So when auto steer is engaged, the Tesla will always do the rainbow road. From now on, every time I activate autopilot, it will end up doing this effect over here. They released a lot of cool things with this update. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.